This is a test. Let's see what we're going to see when we get this audio running. Hello, Gil here. I've uh, been working all week on trying to get Lightarama equipment running on the LoRa network using a or USB dongle. So I've got my or USB dongle hooked up to the computer. And the first thing I'm going to show you is there's a new button called Add Lore. So you want to hit that. And then you're going to pick the COM port that your dongle is connected to. So I'm on COM3. I'm, I'm going to run a lot of channels, so I need to run this at 500k. This description is optional. I'll just put lower network. And then now you want to add in the controllers there on your network because you need to teach X lights about each controller so we know which unit ID, addressing mode, things like that. So I'll hit add. And now you have this new little dialog. Um, <coughs> This type here really doesn't matter a whole lot, except if you pick one of the pixies, I do I do automatically assume how many outputs that you have. So first I've got I've got a CCR. I could actually pick RGB controller or CCR. I'll just pick RGB controller and I know the CCR has 150 channels and my first one's on unit ID one. I've got everything set to run on normal mode, and I'll just call that CCR1. Description's optional. I'm going to add a second one, and let's see, in the second spot, I've got a Pixie 4. And now you notice this changes to channels per output, so I know I got, I got mine configured for 50 pixels, so 150 channels. My base unit ID is three for that unit. Address mode gets grayed out because they all they all come hard coded to normal mode. And I'll go ahead and call that Pixie Four. I'm going to add a third one. Now this is going to be my AC controller I've got hooked up. It's 16 channels. Unit ID two. And then last but not least, I've got another CCR. So another 150 channels, and that one just happens to be programmed up to unit ID Delta, which is a 13. So now I've taught taught X lights what Lightarama units I've hooked up on my little makeshift network I set up in the room. I'm gonna save that setup. I'm gonna go to my layout. So for that very first very first CCR, I'm going to pretend like it's an arch, so 50 nodes is the default, starts at channel 1, that works fine. Let's just say I've got four more arches hooked up. Oh, messed up. Control Z. So I'm going to come in here and say that just because there's four outputs, I'm going to say I have four arches. So that's going to cover all the channels that are on the Pixie. So 50 channels per output. And it's automatically daisy chained to the first model, which is going to work just fine. And I need, let's see, I think next I said I, I had this. So you want to, your models, you want to be in the channel order of how you put them in the dialog. So I'm going to draw a single line. Since this is AC, I need to say number of strings is really how many channels I have. One node per channel. And then I need to come down and tell it that I want it to be single color. And you can make it single color white. If you do that, it only really reacts if you have a grayscale value. Or you can come back and change it to single color intensity, and then it will react to any color values that you put on the uh, channels. So it's up to you which way you want that string to work. And I'll put 
one last uh, uh let's just make it a let's just make it a candy cane and I'll just say it's one candy cane that has 50 nodes and that'll be the last CCR so we'll make this a really big candy cane and those are all daisy chained together so all the start and end channels are all working just fine total of 916 channels so then I'm going to create a new sequence I already had a blank one open So let's see, I'm going to drag out just a uh, few seconds, the timing mark here, so I could drag down some effects. So first let me, uh, let me put a bar effect on the first CCR, and let me make that move to the right, so it's changing, let me speed it up a little bit, and turn on, I'm going to turn on the output the lights. Now you see that that CCR is starting to starting to work. Let me uh, let me speed it up just a little bit. I don't know. It's probably not coming through real good on the video, but it's it's showing the bars just fine. Let's uh let's go to that candy cane, which is another CCR. I'll put a butterfly on that. I'll drop a marquee on my 16 channel and let's just make it have white and black and then one that way it'll make it flash. I've only actually got one set of strings hooked up or one you know one string hooked up to output number one on that guy but it's really trying to fire all 16 channels if you actually had them plugged in. And let's see Put a morph here on the string that's hooked up. Let me make that red and blue. And let me come back and tell it to go full sweep right. So that's a little uh, set of nodes I have hooked up to, to the um, <clears throat> first output of the Pixie. So I don't have I don't have something hooked up to all four outputs, but I'm sending data to it as if I do. So it's still exercising the network. Um, just so we can see this better, maybe let's see if I put that down to ten percent, dim it down, I'll go to each one of these, dim them down. So I don't know if that comes through. A little bit better on the video or not but you can see how all of those are working I can I can put different effects on the different models I guess that guy needs to go up there now both of those CCRs are doing kind of the same thing I could Take a copy of this marquee and put it over. Well, I think that's not what I want to do. Let's go back to the layout, add a group, and I'll call it all. And then I'll highlight all these guys, add them all, all to the group. So now I have another model that I need to add to my layout. So now I can take this marquee and put a copy of it over here on everything and let's see to make a marquee work on this I need to make it single line so now we get now we get single line on everything bring that down to like 10 percent so everything's flashing except for the uh, <coughs> except for the AC controller and that's because the Pixel outputs or the uh, string I have plugged in actually won't flash, probably because it's a not full wave. So I think that's pretty much it. That's a, just a quick tutorial on how you would how you would set up your Lightorama items. See if I turn on output the lights, I can come back here, double click this guy. You could 
click one and edit and change the values around or you could click one and delete it so that's all i wanted to show thanks a lot